It was the summer of 2020 and 14-year-old Abby had promised herself she would make it the most memorable one yet. Even though the world was in a state of chaos, Abby was determined to create some amazing memories to look back on. She had already thought of a list of things to do and places to go. The first thing on Abby's list was to take a road trip with her best friend, Emma. Emma had always been an adventurous spirit and was up for anything. So Abby knew this would be the perfect way to start off the summer. Abby's mom wasn't so sure about the idea, but eventually she agreed to let them go on the trip as long as they stayed within a certain radius and had a responsible adult with them. So, on a bright and sunny morning, Abby and Emma packed their bags and set off on their adventure. They drove for hours, stopping only for food and gas, and eventually made it to their destination. The view was breathtaking. A lake surrounded by tall trees and rolling hills, and Abby and Emma knew. They had made the right decision. They spent the next few days exploring the area and enjoying the outdoors. They went swimming fishing, and even took a canoe out on the lake. It was the perfect way to escape the stress of the world and just enjoy each other's company. The next stop on their road trip was a small town that neither of them had ever heard of before. It was called Paradise Valley and, when they arrived, they could immediately understand why. The town was quaint and charming, with why. Nding streets, colorful houses, and friendly people. Abby and Emma spent the next few days exploring the town and getting to know the locals. Everywhere they went, people were so friendly and welcoming that it felt like coming home. They even made some new friends along the way. On their last day in the town, Abby and Emma decided to visit an old abandoned farmhouse on the outskirts of the town. They knew it had been empty for years, and had heard stories about how it was haunted. But they were see you. Ryu's and decided to go explore it anyway. As they got closer to the farmhouse, they started to feel a strange presence. Abby felt a chill in the air, and Emma said she could hear faint whispers coming from inside the house. They both hesitated, but eventually decided to go in. Inside, the house was dark and dusty but there was something oddly comforting about it. As they walked around, Abby and Emma were amazed by the things they found. There were old furniture pieces, photographs, and even a few forgotten toys. Abby and Emma looked around for a while, taking in the sights and sounds of the old farmhouse. Eventually, they made it to the attic. As they opened the door, they were both taken aback by what they saw. Inside the attic were boxes upon boxes filled with old letters, postcards, and photographs. As Abby and Emma started to go through the boxes, they realized that they had stumbled upon something truly special. Each box contained memories and stories from a different era, and Abby and Emma were mesmerized by them. They spent the rest of the day exploring the attic and reading through the letters and postcards. It was an incredible experience, and one that Abby and Emma knew they would never forget. As Abby and Emma drove away from Paradise Valley, they knew that they had just experienced something truly incredible. The summer of 2020 had been a memorable one, filled with new experiences and friendships, and Abby was sure that the memories of it would stay with her forever.